how's it going out there? Adapt 11 here with another Star Wars action figure review. Now I have to do a voiceover here since the initial recording did not play, so hopefully I can remain in sync here. So we're going to go to the Clone Wars CW number 11 to Aurora Singh, and it includes here a galactic game. So you can see here that it has a picture of the cards and the certain skill sets and whatnot and its numbers, and we'll explain that later. So let's go ahead and flip this around and take a look at the profile that they have set up here for Aurora Singh. Aurora Singh is a force-sensitive bounty hunter, mercenary, and assassin. She is willing to work to anyone for anyone who can meet her price. She provides her expert sniper skills to Cad Bane on Coruscant. Her skills are well known in the criminal underworld. Many aspiring hunters seek her out for training despite her reputation as a cold-hearted taskmaster. Alright, I think this pretty much sums up her character. So... Let's go ahead, open this up, check out the character, and see what this little game is all about. All right. Okay, so you see here we have a six-sided die. Has some symbols on it. And you take a look at the symbols and go to her battle game card. And on here, on the left side, there are some symbols. And then you see the symbols correspond to certain abilities and skill sets. On the far right, you see the number system, what it accumulates to. And above her name and below the picture, you'll see the symbols along with some bonuses. Plus four, plus five, plus two, plus four, plus four. Now those are bonuses that you would add, that's a bonus for Aura Sting, to those numbers on there. I haven't played the game, it does look fun, it sounds interesting. So uh, if you want to learn how to play, you just turn it around. Instructions are right on the back. Again, it slides in and out of the action figure stand. Set that aside there. Now, the action figure stand, you know, I'm, I like the Marauder stands or the Clear stands. But uh, for this particular one, her the holes on the bottom of her feet were a little tight, so you might have to kind of work it in there and to, to get it open a little bit because it's such a fresh figure. As you can see, I was demonstrating the, the hole. So... She does have ball joint articulation at the ankles, at the knees, at the elbows, also at the shoulders. She's got like an abdominal crunch and swivel action at the hips and ball joint at the head. Swivel action at the uh, wrists, I believe. Really long fingers for her pistols. And you see she's got that abdominal crunch right there as I'm demonstrating. And that strap on the firearm does come off very easily, so you might want to be a little careful with how that works. Not exactly difficult to lose or anything. But you see here, little paint detail on the pistol, on the handle. I think that's pretty cool. Slides right into the holsters. I really, really appreciate having holsters with uh, characters uh, that have pistols because it just sucks not being able to put them anywhere. Again, you see this pistol again has a paint detail on the, the, the handle. Fits nice and easily into her holster. And it's not loose, not too tight. Really nice snug fit there. Okay, now, what was I talking about at this point when I recorded? I guess maybe her arms or maybe her sniper rifle. You see that it's got uh, strap holes on the end of it goes on to her head pretty easily and stays there. Just wrap it around her head and you see the paint detail. We have a pretty much tan beige color for the strap and uh, you can see how it works on there. There's some holes in there that you can see right there that you'll have to slide it into. Mine came with them dislodged so I had to put them back on there and they come off really easy and often so be prepared for that possibly. Now you can see the detail on her vest, the, the paint detail, I really like that. You can see the buckles have the nice silver paint detail as they cross on the back and she's got the gear on their back and her antenna on the top. A little thick, a little big. I would prefer for that to be a little more detailed. She's got the really long fingers. I Really great detail on her eyes too. I really appreciate that. Nothing worse than getting a, a nice figure that has crossed eyes or where the eyes are painted all messed up. 
And uh, again, long, lanky arms. You can definitely fit that firearm in there really well. Fingers help to keep both the pistols and the sniper rifle in place. Just have to keep working with that uh, strap right there. But a really nice figure here. I'm very impressed. I will eventually get the vintage collection. Um, but I found this one. I don't remember how much I bought it for. But I found it for evidently a good enough price for me to buy at that time. And uh, I can add her into the collection. So there were the fingers. As you can see, maybe I did have difficulty putting it in there initially. But yeah, I guess maybe I worked it to get in there. But uh, well, there she is, Aurora Singh. So, hey, I appreciate your time, everybody. Um, hopefully the voiceover isn't too unsynced. Um, really appreciate the, the like and subscribe and wait for more videos. I'll have them soon enough. All right, everybody. May the force be with you. Goodbye.